Location-based dating apps might be riskier than you know. One big buff football player is taking his gay rights push to the Super Bowl. And Obama just can't catch a break. When we up in the club, all eyes on us. So forget Manti Teo, this football player has a real cause he's fighting for. Just hours after the Ravens beat the New England Patriots in the AFC Championship game, linebacker Brendan Amand I am Brendan Amandeo Ian Badeo. I'm Brendan Ian Badejo. Okay. Shot off an email to a gay rights advocate asking, is there anything I can do for marriage equality or anti-bullying over the next couple of weeks to harness this Super Bowl media? Ian Badeo. No, Abandeo is not gay, but he was named a honorary gay by GQ magazine. Oh, and uh, he has these abs. Now, speaking of supporters in high places... Our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. Obama's inauguration speech on Monday was praised by gay advocates. That was a monumental statement. But some are asking... The next question is, how is he going to put those words into action? Okay, so have you heard of any of these apps? Grinder, Manhunt, or Scruff? They're mobile apps that gay men use to find sexual partners, or they say they're for dates. If you're using them, you're less likely to use protection when you're having sex. That's according to a study by New York's Community Healthcare Network. According to the study, nearly half of gay men who use those apps don't use condoms. Of course, if you've ever been on Grindr, you're probably not surprised to hear its users make some bad decisions.